Finally, the girls get to live in a dorm, just like they've wanted forever. What could go wrong? Everything. Ruby would never let Summer share a bed with her. Her personal space is sacred, and Summer's too poor to be in it. Ruby brought her whole closet with her. Hopefully, there's enough room in here. Oh, it's taken. Summer let her have the bed, but she won't give up the closet. Ruby has too much makeup. Some of it has been tested on animals, and that's a huge no-no. But Summer's not worried about that. She needs paint, not makeup. The closet is her room now, and it needs some remodeling. Each girl is hard at work. Ruby doesn't think boys will be very interested in a pretty closet. The girls who get it, get it. A nice body should be a priority. Ruby is losing control. This hula hoop has a mind of its own. It thinks it's easier to put up a canopy than spin around normally. That looks pretty cool. Turns out working out is pretty fun. Summer grew up on a farm. These daisies remind her of home. Ruby grew up in a palace. She's used to crowns and gold. When your roommate is a farmer, you should keep your valuables locked up. And Summer can have these drawers. She can use them as firewood in the winter and as a couch for now. It's almost as good as a bale of hay. This box of old junk has a lot of great stuff in it. Making a mirror out of an old record? Great idea! Summer has a beautiful smile. Time for lunch! Plastic utensils are bad for the environment. And they're hard to use. Grandma's dishes are ruined! And all for nothing! The plastic cutlery can turn into a cool pineapple lamp. That's hot! Ruby is really struggling without a closet. She has too many clothes. Should she throw some away? Or make her hanger longer? These clothes are Ruby's most prized possession. Summer has been cleaning all day. And she's tired. She has to take the trash out, too. Oops, the bag tore. This isn't just a bag, it's also her spring raincoat. What's she supposed to wear during the rainy season? You can turn these bottles into a stool. Hey, are you done? Don't throw the bottle away. Wow, soon it'll be good enough to invite people over. Summer is like a one-woman recycling factory. Sleeping in a closet is better than sleeping on the street. Summer knows that from experience. Wow, breakfast in bed. This is for a princess. And there's only one of those in here. And that's Thank Ruby. You. This robot servant is like a robot vacuum. Any small obstacle will make him stop. Summer loves robots. They don't have feelings, so they can't hate her like Ruby does. And Ruby has a good reason to hate her. Summer is taking up the whole closet. Why does she need that many books? Not for reading, but for watching her favorite TV show. Ruby needs more light to show everyone how beautiful she is. A lamp here, a lamp there, a lamp everywhere. That's a weird song. Just princess things. Part of Ruby's room is shining so brightly that it's blinding astronauts. And the whole kingdom got their light shut off. Her roomie got sunburned. How about using a more old-fashioned lighting method? If Summer is living in the closet, then where are all her clothes? They're all so old and frail. Her grandma wore this shirt. Her grandma was the one who taught her how to do arts and crafts. 
That's a cool hanger. Ruby loves her personal space. And she loves intimidating people. She turns spring cleaning into a fashion show. The broke girls at this dorm have never seen anything like it before. And they love it. They don't even know how generous she is yet. Our school's beauty pageant is coming up. They better make the right choice. Summer would also love to be beauty queen. She's brushing bugs and grass out of her hair. She looks like such a redneck. And her room is such a mess. But she's a very crafty person. Now every brush has a place to go. The room is the wrong temperature. Ruby can't live like this. She's used to heated floors and food massages. And what she wants, she always gets. What does Summer have? Well, at least her floor is clean. Summer is busy reading. And Ruby is busy scrolling on Instagram. Everything in her room belongs to her. Well, at least Summer knows how to make coffee. It smells great. And it's strong, too. Oh, did someone drink all your coffee? So maybe you'll stop leaving it out all the time. And pick up your trash. But Summer has never heard of trash. Even a plain old cup can turn into an organizer. Ruby loves art, too. These masterpieces were just in an exhibition. And of course, she has to buy a few pieces. They should all go on display. But now she'll have to chase the art lovers away. Yup, it's the real thing! Now get out of here! Summer's life is falling apart. But she's about to see something that could change everything. And she just saw a piece of styrofoam. Yup, a piece of styrofoam. How could styrofoam change her life? An emoji? Oh, she hangs notes on it. That's pretty great. It looks cool and it's useful. Ruby's got mail. It looks like bad news. Ruby was so focused on getting popular that she forgot about her grades. She got expelled. Summer thinks this is good news. Her annoying roommate is finally moving out. Summer will help her pack. There's a new princess in here now. Ruby's not a bad girl. She wants a nice boyfriend. But those only exist in her daydreams. In real life, they're all mean and stupid. Or nerdy. Exercise is an important part of college life. Ruby has to show her skills. Oof, that's harder than it looks. But her grandma raised her right. He was Jason Momoa's personal trainer. She's doing it! Wow, she's catching up to the guys! But they can't keep up! Her first KO! This isn't a competition, Ruby! Chill out! She won't be able to walk for a week! But for now, the students are taking a test. This is so boring. Tommy fell asleep. Hey. And Ruby's pen ran out of ink. Uh. Caroline has so many pens. Maybe Ruby can borrow one? Oh, oh no! She forgot hey. all her spare pens. <laughs> oh, no! Tommy can give her a feather and ink. <laughs> it's old-fashioned, but so romantic. Caroline is impressed, too. The feather tickled Ruby's nose. So hard that even her neighbor got caught up in it. The yearly cheerleading competition is for the best of the best. Last year's winner, Kylie, wants to beat her own record. The judges are bored. The time is limited. 1,001 cartwheels is the record. Sorry, Kylie. Ruby's next. After Kylie's flipping routine, Ruby's act is pressure. Ruby wins! The competition is over. Here are your flowers and your points. News about Ruby's win spreads fast. 
Her old clothes are making a bigger splash than her trophy. The girls want to knock Ruby down a peg, but she won't give up. What do you think? Who's gonna win? Comment below. Sending emotional messages is what life is all about. Ruby wants to do that too, but her phone is practically a brick. She'll have to think outside the box. Here's a gadget she can use to communicate. And here's her chance. But where are the instructions? That explanation's not gonna cut it. Tommy misunderstood, and now he's doing his thing. Catch this text, Ruby. Let's get back to the cheerleading contest. The judges like this dance. We don't get it. Now it's Kylie's turn again. She's such a tryhard. It's annoying. Her dance bores the judges. Maybe they're the ones who don't get it. We can cheer them up using pictures of George Washington. Oh, look. The judges perked right up. George Washington puts everyone in a good mood right away. The guys are having yummy pizza for lunch. Ruby's running late because of the competition. The guys will be happy to share with her. That's sweet. But there's nothing left but crumbs. Is it really that funny? That's just bullying. Ruby isn't too upset, though. She turned the pizza box into a cute purse. Who's laughing now? Here, make a ball for yourselves, losers. Ruby just came into a pretty nice inheritance. She's counting it up right now. Meanwhile, Kylie's cashing out her credit card. Ruby's never seen that much money before. Maybe she could try making more, though. Ugh, there's no call for that. The guys are working themselves to the bone. State championships are coming up. Ruby is here to give them a boost. But they can't take anything seriously. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ruby's intentions are pure. But they're up to no good. <laughs> We're about to see what happens. But Ruby can't see without her glasses. That's so mean. Wow, Ruby's in great shape. These guys didn't notice at first. They just needed to see her from a different angle. Oh, boys, you're a lost cause. Frank is planning another mean trick. He's going to spice up Ruby's performance. Dylan approves. This prank is going to destroy Ruby. She has no idea what they're planning. Time for her to go to the competition. The boys are supporting her wholeheartedly. New moves? Huh. Wow, a handstand. That was unexpected. And of course, Ruby is the winner. She gets a check for $50,000. Now she can afford everything she wants. And no one will call her a loser anymore. She just earned a spot at the center of attention. Even the bullies are being sweet to her now. My whole life, I've always wanted a sibling. I've imagined it a thousand times. They wouldn't just be my sibling, they'd be my best friend. I've imagined how my brother or sister would look. I could never decide who I wanted more. There are so many kids in the world, and I want all of them to be my siblings. But my parents say I can only pick one. Then one night, I had a dream about a sister. She was Perfect, but everyone kept trying to talk me out of it. It's like the dream was warning me that I was making a mistake and that there's something wrong with her. I woke up from a real nightmare. Maybe I was just nervous because I've been waiting for so long. My dad told me that he and my mom had adopted a daughter. I was so happy. All I could think about was meeting my sister. When my dad brought me to the table and I took my blindfold off, I saw the same girl who was in my dream. But there was something off about her. She was looking at me weirdly. I got uncomfortable. She was so suspicious. 
and I wanted to figure out who she was. When I got back to my room, I started investigating. But I didn't have any leads. Why was she so weird? What's wrong with her? Then she appeared in front of me and started acting weird. She turned to face the wall and started asking someone to like and subscribe to Troom Troom Trick. Talking to the wall is so weird. Then I noticed her phone. This could only mean one thing. She's an influencer. And that's the best case scenario. I was still trying to figure out what's weird about her. Okay. Kylie was being weird over breakfast, too. She's actually just weird all the time. And I'm the only one who notices it. I've actually never seen her eating vegetables. All she eats is meat. While my parents aren't looking, she gets rid of the peas. Maybe she's not a vampire, but why does she only eat meat? What if Kylie grows fur on the full moon? And she howls all night and attacks the farm animals. She could totally be an evil werewolf, for sure. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Write your story in the comments. We'll be happy to read it. And we'll give the best ones a like on Troom Troom Trick.